We're here at Pomona Raceway, arguably the birthplace of drag racing, to test the new Dodge Ram SRT10. I'd absolutely say the Viper has a big bad brother now. It's got this really aggressive grille, this really big stance, giant 22-inch wheels. It's definitely the, the Viper's big bad brother. You know, some people might think this is just a dress-up kit, but actually there are some really racing-oriented hardware, even on the interior. You've got an autometer, oil temperature gauge, a great big Hurst shifter that's really accurate and precise. And also those really well-bolstered seats with the faux suede interiors. So it actually has the parts, not just the look. 500 seems to be the magic number with the SRT10. Got 500 cubic inches, 500 horsepower, 500 foot-pounds of torque. You can actually get quite a bit of tire smoke if you over-rev the launch a little bit. This thing will just boil the skins right down to the rim. The reason they've gone to a six-speed in the Ram SRT10 is to keep the power in the sweet spot. And we actually got a little bit of wheel spin between every upshift. Even in fourth gear, this thing broke traction on the rear tire. Even though it's a truck, they've actually paid attention to the placement of the pedals. The placement is absolutely necessary so that when you're upshifting and braking and, and even heel-toe downshifting, that all those pedals are in exactly the right place. As is the fashion right now in the automotive world, we've got great big wheels on this Dodge Ram SRT10, but these are actually functional as well. We've got 305 Z-rated 22-inch wheels on the back, so we've got lots of traction in the back. And on the front, they fill up the wheel well. I think a smaller wheel would look just silly on this truck. Despite having 22-inch rims and rather short sidewalls on the tires, which usually make a, a ride really rough, the Bilstein shock absorbers are able to smooth it out and still give it that really sporty feel. Beyond the hardware featured inside the Dodge Ram SRT10, the interior treatments are also a little sporty. We've got a carbon fiber look to the dash, and actually imprinted on the steering wheel, there's a texture of carbon fiber. Even though this is a really sporty-minded truck, it's still a truck, so that means we've still got lots of cubby holes and places to hide maps and gobs of headroom, plenty of shoulder room. It's still a very functional truck. I think the Dodge Ram SRT10 proves a number of things. You know, Dodge were there in the beginning with the muscle cars. They're here now, and who knows, even 50 years from now, Dodge will be putting out some sort of a muscle truck, and I bet you this one will be a collector's item by then.